What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield with a Season 6 ready rain team. By the time I'm recording this, it is August 31st, which means it is still Season 5 when I'm playing this. But by the time this video uploads, it is going to be Season 6. So I was thinking maybe I get you guys a nice little Season 6 team. And that is what we are going to be doing today. If you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Shout out to my boy Jacob for sending in his team. This team looks amazing. I saw a Polyrath rain team. I was like, yo, I haven't shown that off yet. Let's get rolling with this team and get rocking out. But on this team, we got Pelipper right here. Cannot have a rain team without Pelipper. We also have Swift Swim Bear Scooter. You guys already know about that. That's the Pokemon behind my face cam. It is our Life Orb Mon with Close Combat, Liquidation, Drill Runner, Poison Jab. Lots of coverage moves and one big stab water move with that Liquidation. Also, with this rain team, we got Ludicolo not running Swift Swim, which is crazy. This kind of threw me off. It has rain there, so it does thrive in the rain still, but it just doesn't get that huge speed boost. It has Soul Fest, and then normal move set of Ice Beam, Scald, Energy Ball, Fake Out. We also got Tessarine to go along with this rain team. Just primarily grass type with power whip protect high jump kick and play rough with that queenly majesty too Which actually uh, takes off uh, first turn priority moves and then that Y lens for that high jump kick to hit way more often Then we got my boy right here who's actually gonna be awesome with this team considering if they want to go out into an electric Pokemon This thing has lightning rod is gonna be able to just soak up the electric moves and protect our rain Pokemon a lot more This thing also has weakness policy with rock slide high horsepower heat crash and protect then in the final spot, we got the GOAT, the boy, the new Pokemon that we still haven't shown off yet till today. We got Polyrath, Water and Fighting type, it has stab moves with Drain Punch and Liquidation, Belly Drum in case we just want to boost attack and go all out with it, and EQ for coverage move. It also has Swift Swim ability, which doubles its speed and rain, and that Citrus Berry to give it a little bit more HP when it falls below half. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. But yo, let's get into this. Let's show off a brand new Season 6 rain team. First battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Weather War team. This guy's got Hail with Vanellix and Alolan Slam Slash, and we got that rain, so we're going to try to counter up his Hail with our rain and get rolling with that. I'm going to lead Pyrath. I'm going to lead Pyrath and Ludicolo, because if he leads uh, Vanellix, I can just drop a nice little, uh, what is it called, Drain Punch and Whap on that thing, and then I also have the Fake Out Pokemon with, with Ludicolo. Then I'm going to bring Pelipper so I can control rain and weather and all that. He has no electric moves, which, well, I think he doesn't. He doesn't have no electric moves, so... I think we should be fine with that. He might lead Indeedee, which might just take off our uh, fake out, which I'd be fine with. So we're not going to bring Rhyperior, no electric. So it's either... I think we're going to go Barry Scooter. I think there's no problem with me going all water here. Like, he doesn't have really anything to just kind of counter it up and whap it out. So I'm going to go with all water. We're going to Pelipper, Polyrath, Ludicolo, and Barry Scooter. Just big... Bulky mons right here with all that water. And guys, I know you guys probably like, yo, Gene, you haven't uploaded in the past couple days. I know, I know. I was out for the weekend. I was down the shore, spent time with family, all that good stuff. But we are back on the grind. Daily uploads coming at you guys. I've been waiting for a new game to come out, too. Like, you guys know, like, how summers are, like, long with video games. Like, nothing comes out for a good period of time. That's kind of, like, where we are at with the channel right now. We've just been uploading Paper Mario and Pokemon, which I'm still enjoying. Like, I'm enjoying both of them, but I'm just ready for a new game like Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Maybe a new Mario game. I really want to do a new Mario game on channel. Same thing with the new Legend of Zelda game. Just something along those lines to get rolling with that. But we do have uh, Crown Thunder coming out soon, so be prepared for that on this channel. But he goes with this team. This is exactly who I thought he was going with, so I'm going to go with that. Do I go up? I should roll this. I might just fake out the Vanellix and just drop that thing. So he doesn't get off in a roar bell. And then swap out. I think that's the play. I think that is the play. There's no way this thing protects. He's got to go for a roar bell, right? Yeah, get out my face. Get out my face. We're going to drop this thing with a fake out and then just slap up on it. With a, oh, this thing's triple axle. Yo, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Triple axle. Isn't it a new uh, hail move or something? And just like more damage. Yeah, there's more damage each shot. But that's totally fine. Ludi Cole goes down. He kind of got his, uh, his what's called out, out the way. This thing's life warp too. Okay, so I'm chilling with that. That thing flinch couldn't move. Drain punch coming out here. I think it should take out Polyrath hitting like a truck, man. Yo, you see him dropping a drain punch? His big fist. Yo, the animation is hilarious. He's like, Mwah. just sucker punches that thing right now. Face. But get that crit too. Take that thing out. Get it out of my face. No, uh, no, what's it called? No Aurora Bell. Now I can bring out the Pelipper. We could be chilling here. We got Swift Swim rolling. We got all the water moves ready to go. Double damage. Well, not double damage. What is it? 1.3 times multiplier with the rain? Or is it 1.5? I think it's 1.3. Here goes Braviary. I'm going right into Paloops, dude. Get it, Paloops. Get that rain going. And his Dynamax Mon's got to be that old one, Sand Slash, right? I got to take that thing out. I got to hit that thing with a Drain Punch. Or at least a, a Liquidation. Something along those lines. Drain Punch is super effective. So I'd rather go after that thing. Hit that. And then, uh, do I set up a Tailwind? Hmm, I think I just drop a Hurricane. I think I double up into this, uh, Sand Slash. As much as I want to. 
If we're gonna double up into the Sand Slash, that thing is life orb. But he might Dynamax Brave Guy, which is kinda scary. He's Dynamaxing something. Who are you Dynamaxing, kind sir? Whom are you Dynamaxing? We still have Barracuda in the back, and the rain should be in our favor for the rest of the match, unless he drops a Hailstorm. And he's not gonna drop a Hailstorm. Because this thing probably only has Max Knuckle and uh, Air Stream. Which I'm totally fine with. Once I get that Barracuda out, we should be cooking. We should be cooking, baby! That's yeah, Swift Swim. There's no way the Sand Slash protects. Does not. Here comes my Drain Punch. Yo, hit that thing up. Take it out, yo. Get out my face, yo. Showing off Polyrath in this first battle. Doing some mean work. We're back up to full health. We're sitting pretty. We're sitting fine. We got Pelper coming out with a Scald. Hopefully, we can get a burn on this thing. Are we going for a Scald? Or yeah, we're going for a Scald, not a Hurricane. Airstream comes out. Pyrath goes down. He's fighting type. That's the only thing that stinks, man. I think he just dumps on it. But we still have Barracuda as our Dynamax Mon. Purely Water type with this rain. We should still be able to uh, outspeed this thing. Let's see what happens here. Get a little bit of Scald. Give me a burn on this thing. Give me a beautiful burn on this physical attack. Do him dirty. Nope. No burn coming out. Let's get Barracuda. I always love Barracuda. Like, since day one when Pokemon came out and uh, I started like getting into the competitive scene and all that, I was like, yo, dude, Barracuda is so cool. Like, this was one of my first Pokemon or teams I used was a Swift Swim team. And I had Barracuda in it. And I just fell in love with it. This thing's going to probably go for a follow me. If I had to guess. If I had to guess, right? So, but I'm still going to Dynamax and drop a Geyser. I'm still going to do that. Uh, do I Tailwind here? I'm thinking of Tailwind. Because if he just goes for follow me, right? Say he goes for follow me. Nah, I say I double up. I say I double up. If you go for follow me, I want this Indeedee dead. I want this Indeedee dead, yeah. Got that life orb. Here we go. Coming out strong with this rain team. Yo, you see Pyrath. There's two drain punches right off the rip. Doing work up against the ice Pokemon. And that is exactly what I want. That is exactly what I wanted from turn one. I said that in the beginning. I was like, yeah, let's get out this Pyrath. We can roll out with a stab drain punch and just do some mean work. And Ludicolo did some work before he did go down to that triple axle. Just that fake out was huge. So he couldn't get off that Aurora Veil. He's going to help us out so much. But indeed, he does end up going for follow me. We kind of saw that coming. Another Pokemon that is going to be banned tomorrow by the time I'm recording this. Which is crazy. They're banning both Indeedees. Geyser comes out. Can Geyser just KO? Geyser does KO, dude. Oh my god. Bear Scooter, leave him alone. Bear Scooter just hitting like a truck. Always has. Always will. Well, Max Uncle coming out here. Uh, who are you going after? You gotta be on my Bear Scooter, right? Yeah, getting that attack boost. So we still have speed advantage, which is wonderful. We should kind of have this one wrapped up pretty well. We're gonna go for Scald. And then another Max Geyser should just be able to uh, punk this thing out. Say night, night. They night night to this thing. He might guard, but we still have two Dynamax turns. We looking pretty. We are looking real pretty here. Nice start to this video. Gonna go one and oh. Uh, he might just cancel out because he knows I'm gonna outspeed and just drop a big old Max Geyser. Raviari poo poo compared to Barra Scooter. It ain't happening. It's not happening. But guys, if you do have a uh, new season six teams, I'm gonna be needing them considering a lot of Pokemon are getting banned within the new season. So if you do have new season six teams, follow me on Instagram, link in the description below, send them over there. Be like, yo, Jeans, I got you a new season six team. Try it out or something. Send me a picture or the code. All that good stuff works. And I will definitely look at it because I'm going to need tons of season six teams to you. So right now it's gonna be like a hot chance for you guys to uh, get a chance for me to show off your team. Well, let's hop into our second battle and try to go 2 0. First thing I noticed when we're going up against this guy, he has Angry Point Taurus, so we do gotta watch out for that. He might lead it with the Frost Slash, get a critical hit, and then boost the attack and more from there. And he also has that Arctos Ult right there, which is like electric Pokemon, so I should bring him right here for that lane. I kinda wanna lead the same thing, because I feel like we can do so much with that. It kinda counters up on the, uh, the, what's it called? The Tauros, the Talonflame. It just does so much. I wanna bring him for sure, and then do I bring Rain, or do I set the Rain myself? I feel like I gotta bring rain, right? I feel like I gotta bring rain. Let's go, let's go. Let's bring Pelper out here. Let's bring Pelper out here. So we're gonna go basically same squad, just without Barracuda and then Dynamax Pokemon is either gonna be probably Rhyperior, Pyrath, or Ludicolo. Definitely not Pelper because who Dynamax is Pelper? That is just whack. But can we get 2-0 with this team to start off, I guess, a new season? It is not in my record, but still, like starting off with new season uh, teams, the reason I am doing this, I kind of explained it in the beginning, is because I don't want to upload when... Because this goes out when Season 6 starts. I do not want to upload a team that is not just for Season 6. You guys know what I'm saying? But he does leave Frost Slice and Taurus, so he is going to Dynamax. We kind of see that coming. I cannot fake out. I cannot fake out, which is tough. I'm definitely going to go here. And do I even fake out? Or how do I roll out with this one? I mean, I might just go for the fake out. Because if he doesn't Dynamax, but he's got a Dynamax, right? He's got a Dynamax. That's got to be a fact. But I can't figure out the Frost Slice considering he's Ghost-type, and then if he Dynamaxes, it won't do anything, but I still gotta go for it. I still gotta go for it just in case he doesn't pull the trigger for the Dynamax. 
But chances are he's gonna go for it. Chances are he's gonna do it. He's gonna go for it, man. But you don't want it. You don't want it. You don't want the Pyrath Punch, dude. The Pyrath Punch does mean work, y'all. I just love the animation. You guys saw it. He, like, charges it up and he comes through. He comes through, throwing some haymakers, all that good stuff. Um, bam, bam. He's so sick, dude. I can't believe I haven't used him till this. Till, well, till then. But here comes Dynamax, obviously. Maybe I should have dropped the Scald. Maybe went for the burn chance, but still. I couldn't pass up the chance of going for a fake out and just trying to make a read. Because usually simple plays will win you the game in Pokemon. You guys see it all the time on my channel where I'm overthinking and make that totally wrong play just because I'm trying to think too much or make a hard read and I end up losing. Just simple plays usually win you guys the game. But fake out comes out. Bop. No. Lynch, but a little bit of damage. Here comes my Drain Punch. Oh, no. He's going to go for an ally switch. Ooh. Oh, oh, this dude's playing crazy. He's playing crazy. He's going for a Max Darkness here. You're up against my Ludicolo. That's totally fine. It was some damage on that one. Okay, that's fine for a little waste of a turn. He's going to drop defense, right? Now, special defense. Okay, I'm cool with that. But that kind of does help out the Frost Eyes. Uh, what do I go for now? Kind of scared. Kind of scared here. Hmm. Liquidation, or do I drop another Drain Punch? No way you're going for another Ally Switch. There's not a chance you're going for another Ally Switch. I swear, if he goes for another Alice, which I'm doubling up into the Sora slot. You're not doing it. You're going for the thing. Yeah, I knew he was going for that Frost Breath. Here it is. The Frost Breath's going out. And he's going to be able to maybe take out my uh, Pyrath. Anger Point comes out. Ah! Leave me alone. Take out my Ludicolo, please. Take out my Ludicolo. Say bye-bye, Ludicolo. Darkness coming out here. Take out my Ludicolo, please. Yeah, okay. So Ludicolo's gone. That's fine. We're going to get out uh, Pelper now. And I might Dynamax from here. There are minus two on Special Defense, which is a little whack. I don't want him just dropping out into one shot here. Yeah. Here comes a nice big old drain punch. Yeah, you super effective shot. Not bad damage. Is this thing policy? He might be. It's not. It's not policy. Let's go on with Pelper. Get that swift swim rolling. Uh, I don't know if I should Dynamax. I got speed advantage. And I definitely feel like he is going to, uh... I definitely feel like he is going to ally switch. So I might just drop a, uh, a liquidation over on that slot. Let's go liquidation here. Go after Taurus. And then, uh, Skull this way. Yeah, let's do that. So either way, we're going to get some damage off on the Taurus. See, Zally Switch coming out here? Yeah, kind of saw that coming. Should have doubled up on that slot. See, that's when, that's when I know. That's when I know the Alice Switch coming. Liquidation's going to come out first. We got Swift Swim rolling. May pick up the KO. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Nope, no KO. We'll be able to pick that up next turn. Quick's coming out here. Going to do some damage. No stab, so I think we should be able to eat this up just fine. No, we do not. We do not. The Anger Point's just coming out. It's too strong, man. It is too strong. Anger point's too strong. We're going to get out right here. And he's going to be our last chance, I hope, here with a Dynamax. And we'll off from here. Even though Pelper's going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. Let's get it, Pelp. Get it, Pelper. Do some damage. Burn. Burn this dude. No burns, man. Haven't been able to get burns all day. Haven't been able to get burns all day. All right, so it comes down to a 2v4 situation. But this thing's Dynamax turns are all over. He's done with Dynamax. We still have our Dynamax. So I'm like, there's still a chance here. Does he have a water pill? That's the real question. Because that thing will dump on me. Will dump on me, especially in the rain. Let's see. He does have Arctozol, which could come in clutch. If he has that thing out there instead of maybe that Urshifu, he might have Urshifu in the back. No, no lie. Um, I might change up the weather. Put it in my favor. Yeah, let's do it. Let's change up the weather. Put this in my favor. Uh, who do I want to take out? I'll, I'll hit this Taurus up, and then I'm just going to drop a skull over on the process. We should, we should be able to pick up the double kill either way, even if it ally switches. But he is going to go first. That's, uh, that's the scary part right here. That is scary, man. Rough start. Rough start. The thing that got me really was that Alice, which right off the rip. Wasted my drain punch. Fake out didn't do anything, and he was able to get off three shots and start rolling from there. So that Alice, switch was huge instead of going off with that Frost Breath in turn one. Dude knows what he's doing. He's going to go for the Frost Breath here over my Pelper. Pelper, say that's a tasty snack you got there. That's a tasty snack you got there, Pelper. Tell him, buddy. Tell him you eat that up all day. Here comes the high horsepower. Thank you so much for that. Whoa, 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 whoa there, whoa there. That did that much damage? That did that much damage? That's absurd. That's absurd, but we do pop off with weakness policy, which is nice, but a lot of Pokemon are gonna outspeed me. The thing that I'm hoping for is Arctos ult does come out here and he goes for a lightning rod. That would be like our chance of winning. It'd be if he does that. He's gotta have Earth Spring, right? He's got to have Urshifu. That's got to be a thing. I'm so scared, man. I'm so scared. He has Urshifu. It's game. Unless I protect and hurricane it. Perhaps. Perhaps. 
Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what we got. Gotta be Arctozolt and Urshifu. Let's go. Polisand? Okay. I found Polisand. Oh, dude. Shiny Polisand. Looking tough. He's looking tough. He definitely has water compaction. Urshifu does come out here. Um. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna guard. We are going to guard. And I, I am going to drop a Hurricane. I gotta have this thing land, right? I gotta have this Hurricane land. Let's go, Pelper. You got this. We guarding. We guarding. He's got to go for a yeah, punch on my right here. Kind of saw that coming. We guarded up. What's Palisand going for? Oh, Pelper goes first. We connect. Take this thing out. Get this thing out of here. Get it out of here. Oh, my lord, yo. Let's get it. Let's go. Palisand, go after my right here. Go after my right here, please. He's going for a Shadow Ball. Eat this up. Not nah, stab. This one's going to be so close. This one's going to be so close. Oh, my lord. Who is faster? Who is faster, yo? I make the great read with the guard and I get rid of the Urshifu. Who is faster though? We got weakness policy. We're rolling here. Who's faster? Right, Pierce faster. Take him out. Come on, baby. Come on. Doom dirty. I'm a god. I am a god. I am the best Pokemon player on planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, yo. What a match. Nice reads. Way to finish that off. We go 2-0. We're going to hop into our third and final battle. Now, if I beat the Cinderace, Rillaboom, and Torkoal, three Pokemon, actually four Pokemon that need to be banned with that Mimikyu, if I beat this team with the team I have right now, this team is going down in the record books right here. Let's try to get it. We are 2-0 right now, hopping into our third and final battle. He has four, I guess you would say, OP Pokemon that are getting banned, so... We'll see how we can play it out. He does have Torkoal, so I gotta watch out for the Sun over here. And he has a Sun Gift Cherum right here. So, gotta kinda go Weather Wars with this one. Gotta go Weather Wars. He has a Fake Out Pokemon with the Rillaboom. Oh, he might lead. He might lead. Do I lead Pelipper? I kinda wanna lead Pelipper. But at the same time, Ludo, like, this one's gonna be tough for me. Hmm. Kinda wanna lead Ludicolo for sure. I'm gonna lead uh, Ludicolo and Polyrath. I think that's the play. Lead both of these guys. Bring Pelper. And then he has no electric. Um, we go all water? I think I go all water. Because once I get rid of that Rillaboom, we should be chilling. We should be chilling just fine. I do have the Soul Fest. I do have Ice Beam with Ludicolo. All that good stuff. Just a, just a Rillaboom is definitely going to be the biggest threat here. If I can win the Weather War, which I think I can. But if he takes over, then it's kind of game. It's really going to be whoever wins the Weather War. Besides just a Rillaboom. Because Rillaboom kind of runs my team right now. So, got to watch out for that. Rillaboom will probably... Most likely one shot all my Pokemon besides my uh, Tessarine, but she's not even in with that big old grass guy. But he does lead the Robo. I'm kind of saw this one coming. He might just Dynamax right off the rip. Might just Dynamax. Uh, do I go for the Fake Out? Hmm. Fake, fake Out goes before the what's called, right? But Protect, like, what do I do here? Hmm. What you want? What you want, Robo? I'm going to go for the Fake Out. I'm going to go for the Fake Out. I drop a drain punch on this thing. Yeah, let's drop a big old drain punch. I think Fake Out should be able to come out before following me. I don't think he's going to Dynamax. I think he's going to go for a Fake Out of his own. Maybe onto my Ludicolo slot. Let's see what you want, fool. And then depending on what happens after this turn, I might swap out either my Ludicolo or my, uh, or my, what's it called? My Pyrath. But we end up do getting off this Fake Out. Then does follow me come out? Nope, he doesn't. He's not even going for a follow me. We get a nice big drain punch. Doing a little bit of damage. Getting some HP down for him. And then this thing's probably going to go for a Gleam. Oh, no, it's straight Air Slash, dude. I hate this. I, I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> he gets a crit, too, with the Super Luck and probably Scope Punch. I knew this was going to be a tough battle. Oh, and Token Kiss is banned, too. That's five of the Mons right there. That is five of the Mons. I knew this one was going to be a tough battle, but I definitely totally forgot that this thing's part Fighting type, and it doesn't take air that well at all. Um, hmm. How should I go? I think I go Barracuda, and I swap into Pelper. Dude, this one's so tough. He's gonna be able to do it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Dude, what you mean? I hate this game. Like, he's just gonna be running me this game. This is so tough. This is why these Pokemon are getting banned. This is why. I got a Dynamax here. You go for an Ooze? Do I just stick with a Geyser? I think I go with an Ooze. It's super effective. I gotta get rid of this. I gotta get rid of this dang Rillaboom. You're scaring me, man. This is terrible, man. Get out, Pelper. Get out of your Pelper. Now he's just going to get out of Torkoal. I might swap back. I think I'm going to swap back next turn. I think he's going to swap into Torkoal. No lie. 
No lie, I seriously think he's gonna swap in Pokemon, but the grass guy might just one tap my bear scooter, which is probably the scariest part. He just one taps my bear scooter. With a grassy glide, like, bruh. Just so good. Because it's base 70 power with stab, and then his ability allows the grassy surge to come out. We get first turn priority, and then it's the 1.3 multiplier. Like it's just absurd how strong that move is. It's just that move and his ability. Here, watch, right? Like, what, like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And I'll wait for the new season now. Now I cannot wait for the new season. We're gonna get ran up on this battle. I think we're gonna get swept. We are definitely gonna get swept here. And this one's just a tough one, dude. So tough, man. Like you guys, you guys. I bet you, you guys all deal with this. So. It's not like I'm the only one who just deals with this stuff. Like, this just happens, man. Like, whenever you're not using a team like this, like, you get ran by them. They're so strong. They're just absurd. At least we got a little sombrero hat dude right here. I'm gonna be able to drop off a nice little hurricane and come in with an ice beam. Yeah, a little ice beam going. We need a freeze. Oh, yeah. I don't think he's gonna die, Max. Yeah, he's just gonna stick with the grassy guys. Go after a helper. Take him out. Like, bruh. Bruh. Like, bruh. Whoa, like, I don't know what to do. Go ahead, Ludicolo. Cole. Do him dirty. Do him dirty. Get the freeze. Please. Yes, Ludicolo. Doing work. Doing work, buddy. No freeze. Air Slash coming out here. We're done. We're done. Grace guy's gonna come out here next turn and take us out. Like, like, I don't know. I don't I, I don't know. I don't know. Rain dish though. We got rain dish rocking. <laughs> we get a little bit of HP back, but I gotta keep my sombrero dude alive. I'm gonna run this battle and we're gonna end up going two and one in today's video. Not bad. We had awesome first two battles. First battle, we just dominated. Second battle, we made a great play at the end to get us ourselves a win. And third battle, we got absolutely dumped on, which is all good. We still got that winning record. And got to show off this wonderful rain team. One last shout out to my boy Jacob for dropping this team. This team has been one of my favorite rain teams I used in a while. I absolutely loved it with the Pyrath. Just something new. Got to show off something cool. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.